What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. So we are back again with the FCX24 Power Wagon. If you guys saw the last video that I made on it, I did add some weight to this guy with the steering links and the C hubs and everything, brass hubs and everything on here. But it still was not enough weight for it to crawl up that rock on the crawler course. Now that rock that I put in there, I was not intending it to be as challenging as it was, but I'm kind of glad it is because now I have to make this be able to crawl that rock. Unfortunately, I don't have enough weight on here. So I did buy a couple things. One of the things I did get was the lock rings for the B-Lock trail wheels that I have on here. And I did end up getting brass links from Jura for this guy, but I'm probably not gonna be using those. One of the things I wanna do with this guy is move the front wheels forward and move the rear wheels backward. If you guys have seen Mass Off-Road, his wrecker has the front wheels right about here. So he has a better distance. <laughs> He has a lot better distance. That's what I want to try to tackle with this guy. And I want to move the rears back a little bit further. What I did end up getting was FCX 18 and Jura Links that I'm hoping are going to work on here, first of all. And hopefully, if they do work, I'm kind of hoping they give me the look that I'm going for for this guy. So I'm going to go ahead get these links together, put them on this guy, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, and there it is, the Power Wagon with the FCX18 links, and I got to say, this thing looks freaking amazing. I love the way it came out. The wheels in the front came out to where I want them to be. The wheels in the back went to where I really want them to be. So I did extend the wheelbase a little bit, which is awesome. The links will work on here 100% with no issues at all. Now, if you guys do decide to end up using uh, FCX18 links, you are also going to have to get drive shafts. That was one thing I missed. <laughs> Luckily, I did have these drive shafts. Have no idea where I got them from, but luckily I had them here. These links are, I mean, these drive shafts literally are just temporary just so I can keep on going with the video and see how this guy performs. I did end up ordering a FCX18 drive shaft to put it in here, two drive shafts to put it in here, so it will be right. Uh, the other thing that I have to watch out for, if you guys do decide that you wanna go this route with using FCX18 links on your power wagon, one of the things that you're going to have to watch out for is the servo. So as you guys can see, the servo, just if you go straight up and down, it's going to hit this part of the chassis there. But when it's articulating, it is going in on the inside. So one of the things that I want to do here is I want to get probably longer shocks or make a shock mount somewhere here in the front so that way the shock is straighter up and down and it'll end up raising the chassis up i kind of don't want it to be up too high but it'll raise the chassis up to where it's not going to wind up hitting there but again when there's articulation you guys can see articulation it freely moving in there so that came out awesome so the other thing is the lock rings that I ended up getting for these wheels unfortunately they do not fit uh, I did end up contacting Trill to find out if they had heavier brass lock rings for these wheels I do love the way that these wheels look on the power wagon so I kind of don't want to do away with those wheels. I want to keep these wheels and uh, I'm just hoping that Trill will email me back and let me know if they have any brass lock rings that are going to work on these wheels. So 
What I'm gonna do with these is I'm putting it actually into this guy, which I already had one put in and it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna be putting the rest of them on here. This is another project that I'm working on. Um, so those lock rings are gonna go in there. But with the power wagon, let us take it out to the mini crawler course and see how this is gonna perform now. Let's go. Alrighty guys, and there it is, the FCX24 Power Wagon with the FCX18 links. And I got to say, this thing looks a heck of a lot better than it did. And the performance on it did a lot better than it did before on the crawler course. Especially over that rock that I made challenging without purposely making it challenging. But it ended up being challenging. <laughs> so, it did great. 
over the crawler course completely. Obstacles that I couldn't do before ended up doing it. Uh, my next thing that I'm thinking about doing on this is going to be the wrecker part that goes on the back here like this one here. I actually found this one on Amazon and I'm thinking about putting it on the back here to give it that wrecker look like Matt's off-road wrecker. So that is what I'm planning on doing. Um, another thing that let me know down in the comment section below, should I get rid of the portals and go with the straight axle kit? I'm not sure. I kind of want the portals, but at the same time, Matt's wrecker is straight axle. It doesn't have portals on it. So I'm thinking to make it look more like, like Matt's off-road wrecker, I'm probably going to go with the straight axles and get off of the portals. But you guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you think I should do. Um, other than that, I think I'm pretty much done with it other than probably upgrading the ESC in this thing. Other than that, performance wise, I think it did absolutely great. And there were lines over there on the crawler course that I never tried before that this thing did, which I am amazed about. It kind of blew me away. So that is pretty much all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. You all keep our seeing. Have a good one.